What's good? Welcome back or to the channel. So we kind of got a bunch of things going on. So we kind of randomly decided to throw the handlebars on. There's really no plan to do this this evening. It's like nine o'clock at night and we just had the sudden urge to put my handlebar setup on from CFR. So we're going to do that now. We're in the process of that. Also, I didn't show you guys this and I didn't film this because it was frustrating. I put the link removable snow flap adapter on my sled. And as I was drilling out the stock brake light housing that came with the sled, I snapped like six different drill bits trying to drill this out. And in the process i also melted this plastic here and yeah after that i decided not to film it just because i was getting so angry on top of doing the handlebars i am also replacing this piece tonight because i was able to find this housing on skidoo parts house or something like that so we're replacing this we're gonna get this emblem off we're gonna try to save the wrap and we're also seeing what we think of this tunnel bag on here i have mixed feelings so the slot obviously is white and blue I would have liked for this tunnel bag to be black, but unfortunately this is the tunnel bag I like and Skidoo makes it in one color, that being black and yellow. So I'm not a big fan of the yellow on the sled, but I am a big fan of the tunnel bag, so I'm not too sure what I'm feeling. Guys, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys feeling this tunnel bag on this sled? Let me see if I can get a better shot just so you get a better idea. I know it doesn't fit the build or the sled whatsoever, but I really like the bag. Do you think it looks okay? Like, should I go ahead and get one? As far as the handlebar process, we just got going on this literally, and then I decided to grab the camera. So you guys are a little late, but what we got going on here is we are just working on removing the factory controls. We're working on removing shot. That's done. The brake system's done. Kill switch is done. Now we're just working on the throttle. After we do that, we got to cut these grips off because I got new grips to go with the new bars. And we also have to get the hand warmers off so we can save them because I am not replacing those if I don't have to. So we're going to try to save them and then tape them up. And yeah, it's going to be a process. Is that, that top tab? off? Is that a plastic weld? Try taking it all the way out. So guys, we are having a little bit of difficulty removing the throttle. We were able to get everything else removed but that. So we were kind of struggling on this. My thought would almost be, okay, flathead. I was thinking either a flathead or worst case, we get the grip and the heater off, try to unbolt it. the bars and try to pull them this way. Because oh, once we yeah, get this grip off, hard. there's nothing connected. So I'm thinking we should maybe just do that instead of try to mess with this and break it. Because that's another part I'd have to order and fix within the next week. <laughs> kind of need the throttle. The brake's not so much. You just got to be careful with the grip heaters. That's about it. So guys, this is the bar setup I'm going. I think I covered this in a video in the past. I'm running the Munster bar. I know the Boondocker is a popular bar, but I like a lower setup. And the Boondocker has a higher ride than the Munster. So I went with the Munster bar. Got the black and white bar pad just to kind of tie everything together. Went with the Nux three and a half inch riser. I, like I said, I like a shorter setup. This is, I think this is a five or six inch, I want to say. And we're going to drop it down to three and a half with this little rise bar. So that's going to be pretty awesome. And then just a new set of grips. One with black grips because they didn't make a color that was going to fit this. Almost considering doing white grips just because of the white bars. But honestly, I don't think it looked good and it'd get extremely dirty. So yeah, we went with black grips. Let's so throw the seat cover on tonight. We all have mixed feelings about the seat cover. We think it's gonna look good, but we also think it might not look good. We were considering throwing the seat cover on tonight, and then literally after all this is on, the last thing we have to do besides the preseason, I wish I actually have all my stuff for the preseason in the box there, finally. Uh, got around to ordering that, as you guys know. Not too big on maintenance, but we should probably do it because it's a used sled. Last thing we gotta do after that is install the front bumper, which obviously won't be tonight because it's gonna be real late by the time we're done. And Brandon has the grip off ready, which is awesome. But we have nine days to get this together. Yo, that's what that this is. This thing be a bitch. No, it's not though. Isn't what I thought it was. Oh no. <laughs> not like what the YouTube video showed me. I see there is a little gap right here. This thing sounds foul. I don't know. Oh wow, that's sticky. I'm trying to take it all off at once, but I don't know if I should or. See, look at it, it ripped the freaking cork. This is not gonna go back how it's supposed to. I can already tell. Ow, dude, that's hot! <laughs> Bro, we don't need more heat than that. That should just peel up. No, it's not even hot. I touched something that was hot. Maybe it was the heat gun. <laughs> or do we just do a grip heater delete? Because I know the day it's cold, my hands are freezing. I'm gonna be pissed I deleted these. This is not a how-to, by the way. Probably the best it's gonna be is it. Oh! It's all oh, wait, that, oh wait, that's, that's separate. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good, dude. You're we don't saying. need all the cork, just some. <laughs> look at that. And then look at that, we could undo the bars and slide it over. Done. Oh, bro, I have the perfect tool for this job. Mm. <laughs> dude, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going to have a heated grip. <laughs> It's just on this end. You hope. Gotta get in there, bro. Oh! <laughs> it's hot, dude. 
Why would you do that? I didn't do anything. Straight to my face. To the grip. Dude. Bro. That's like a $30 piece of 2x4. You know, I got cold hands, burnt wood, and a burnt face. Uh, you can do it. I'm doing it. They're about Actually, the same, they're about bro. the same. I thought I messed that one up. There's If anyone's looking for a stock riser off a of Gen 4 Summit, let me know. 150 bucks plus shipping. <laughs> With strip threads. <laughs> <laughs> With strip threads. The 13. How much you want to bet? Put it on right. Oh, uh, it's definitely a 13. Last thing we need to do is break the throttle block. A riser. Shot go before the breaker. <laughs> before, after. After? You took it off second, so brake goes on first. There's so much cable. I'm gonna have to like pull it back into the body. I can only imagine how putting the grips on <laughs> is gonna go. I mean, some hand warmer is better than none, I guess. I bet you won't even notice the difference. Nope. Thin layer, buddy. Don't don't go overboard. <laughs> this is my grip. This sled looks so different a week ago. As long as this heating element gets warm, your whole rubber grip will it's, get warm. The whole bar will get warm. <laughs> Too wet. <laughs> 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 looks like you're rocking no grips. <laughs> Here we are, mocking it all up. Getting comfortable, baby. Getting comfortable. Finished product. Took longer than expected, but... As always, every project we do takes longer than we think. We are done. Next day here, my camera battery ended up dying, but we did finish up most of the project. Here are the CFR bars on here. Once again, three and a half inch rise with a Munster bar. And guys, this feels amazing. Like, I don't think I'll ever own another sled without an aftermarket set of bars from CFR because they just feel that good. And no, I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. I just absolutely love the way they look and feel on the sled. I think I have the ideal setup for me in terms of height and bar width and everything and the way they're set up. Just feels really good compared to stock. And that was my biggest complaint on this sled stock was I did not like the bar set up even though I haven't written it yet. I can sit on it and tell you right away was not a fan. Seat cover is partially on. The issue we ran into is the seat cover is really tight on the seat and the staples. So you're stapling literally in the plastic. And I don't think I have deep enough staples or strong enough staple gun to shoot into plastic. So we got like the nose kind of part done, but like the rest of it did not stick. So we're going to have to revisit this with some stronger staples or a better staple gun. Still got Brandon's link bag on here trying to figure out if I actually like it on the sled or not. I'm leaning towards yes, even though the colors don't match just because I really like the bag and it's going to do everything I need it to do. So most likely we'll end up with one of these once again comments below let me know if you think that's a good idea and the last project we had last night was swapping over this taillight housing because i ruined my original one drilling my rivets out to put my link removable snow flap adapter on so we swapped that over we were able to actually save the wrap and the emblem and put it on the new one this video is a little different than usual this was more of like a vlog instead of like a how-to or a more like professional type video we don't do a lot of that stuff on this channel so let me know in the comments below do you guys like the vlog style videos where we're working on something and we just got kind of got the camera rolling and we're just kind of like just being ourselves or if you like the more professional informational videos if you guys like today's video smash a huge thumbs up on the like button below comment section let me know what you think of the link tunnel bag on this slide and also let me know what you thought of this style of video compared to what i usually do and guys we are so close to 20,000 subscribers if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out